Hey bays, it's Bailey and welcome back to another episode of Cottage Bays. Today we are starting the noon phase of our little challenge LP thing. So we are in a brand new location. We have brand new goals and I'm excited to get started. All right, before we jump into the gameplay, I wanted to point out that I did give our bays a little bit of a makeover. Uh, so I will go ahead and show you that now. Sheila. Basically all we did is we aged everybody up to uh, adult for this next part of the challenge and we just changed up their outfits a little bit. Not a whole lot, just kind of sticking with the same flavor that they had, just giving them some new looks. My goodness, Noah has gotten skinny. All right, and we are ready to jump into phase two and our new home. I went ahead off camera and made a couple of little tweaks, not a whole lot, just I put in our plants and so add a added a couple more uh, planters so that we could get everything in and, oh, that's going to be annoying. Um, so anyway, we are, we are good to go. All right, so it's Sunday and everyone's in a fairly good mood. Um, yeah, I forgot we couldn't fit all the plants in our designated plant spots, so there's a few inside as well. Um, how are our chickens doing? Oh, they are starving. Let's feed them. Should very... okay. Yeah, okay. Perfect. And then... oh, wait, we have to rename this. Xavier <laughs> School for Chickens! As much as I love Fell's castle, that is amazing, so I will keep that. Okay, what does Leisha need to do to finish this? Alright, so we need to... let's continue to be friends with Venom, because that's the one we are the most friendly with. Who <laughs> was asking about spiders. Well, and Carnage is coming over too to see what's up. Yeah, I had forgotten to lock this door uh, when we first moved in, so <laughs> I walk in and like there's chickens walking around in my kitchen. It's like, eh, let's let's not let's not have chickens walking around in my kitchen. Let's play toilets. What? Uh, like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, I don't like that either. Please love me. Oh, there's a good chicky. Come on, just just love me, okay? Ah, I'm a happy chicken. I feel like a chick again. Uh -huh. It's interesting that the other chickens are getting social from me being here. Just love me. I will not leave you alone until you love me. Good lord. There we go. Okay. Now, can we... Are they able to get in? They might not be able to get in. Okay, what's the problem here? There we go. Okay. Well, that was a diversion. Get some soup. And just, like, just, like, go to bed. Oh, Leisha took my spot. Oh, that's okay. To be fair, I did not assign them spots. Let's just get you cleaned up and send you to bed. That mirrors this going a lot slower than it's supposed to. Oh. And I need to check my lot trades. I'm pretty sure they're good, but... Ah, they are not. Uh, we're supposed to simple living and wild foxes. There we go. Noah looks like he's about ready to get up. Go 
get yourself some soup, and then we'll have you harvest the crops. Who the hell are you? Malcolm Landgrab, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Hey, you better get out of here. Nancy Landgraf's here? Why are they keep- Why are they cutting across my lawn? Uh, I mean, I guess they aren't, because this wall is on the outside border of the property. It's still really annoying. They're all gonna be all up in my space. Okay, you should get up. It's 11 a.m. I think you're fine. Oh, joy of joys. We have bills. Hey, we can actually afford them, though. That's nice. So... Noah, can we call out Arthur Dent and just make sure he's okay? Uh, yeah, no, he needs... He, you know, needs some, uh, some care. Here. Oh! We got some frisky chickens in here. Good for you, bays. Okay, oh, perfect. She even knows where she needs to be. And Noah, here, why don't you come craft something? Go make some more bunny sculptures. So we, in theory, should have buns coming to live with us at some point. Yeah, I hope that our bun friends come back. I don't know if they will, though. Okay, Elsie, I think you've slept for long enough. It is, in fact, 2 p.m. And you know what? We have a new exciting world of things to explore called writing! You haven't been able to do that yet. Well, well, I guess we do have to write one of everything, so. We can write a delightful children's book. We can write one about Arthur Dent. That'd be adorable. All right, everybody is working so diligently. Cool. Noah finished his bun sculpture. Now you can go jogging. There you go. Um, Arthur Dent. Technicolor Adventure. This is a children's book about a a delightful llama who loves to wear colorful clothes. How are we doing with the plants? Regine, let's give... Let's encourage crop growth. And what fair is going on this week? Uh, this week is the oversized crop fair. Okay. And the pie competition. Okay. We can definitely work with that. Oh, and Winterfest is coming up. That's nice. So I believe our chickens are doing okay. Yeah, everyone's doing well. Good, 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 good. Make sure our plants are all taken care of. Wait, actually, we have crop fertilizer, so let's do that. We'll give that a minor growth fertilizer. Why not? And we'll water all of our plants. Yeah, cool, we're doing well. Don't like the decorations, eh? Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of fair. It's, there's not a whole lot going on. Noah's back from his jog. Leisha's just doing a little tidying up. Oh, get his little flirty being around their bay. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I know that feel. Alright, everyone's pretty chill. Ah, oh, we got a foxy fox that says, fuck your wall. That is the drawback of using a debug wall. It does not actually exist. And now it's in our house. What? What? There's a fox in my house. Which one is this? It's Wild the Fox. Ah, I thought we'd, I thought we'd lost Wild the Fox. Well, Wild the Fox is still here and just is running around the house. I mean, he's not harassing my chickens or stealing my stuff. But I think I am going to have to tell Wild the Fox to leave. Is there another bushy-tailed thief? Oh, crap, there is. My god, just stop. It's too many thieves. <laughs> Are you yelling at the plants? <laughs> I mean, I've never tried it. Maybe yelling at plants is just like some kind of secret technique. 
Oh, yeah. One of the things I do is I'm reserving all four of these for orchids. Actually, do we have any orchids we could plant? Not right now. I think we sold all of them to get ready for the move. That's cool. Oh, hey. I wonder if we can upgrade some things. Yeah, let's make some things self-cleaning just so we don't have to worry about cleaning them. Hey, we got no money again. Um... Alicia, is there anything you'd like to do? Actually, what? Well, that's probably going to take a while. Is that the last step? Yeah, Leisha's almost done with this aspiration, so as soon as we can win something in the Finchwick Fair, which is easier said than done. Oh, I didn't realize there was a little roller rink here. Ah, I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't realize I put that there because that's not a lot that I can decorate. Um, what in the hell was I saying? Uh, whatever, let's go fishing. <laughs> okay, why are you tense? Uh, yeah, that's, that's valid. What'll make you feel good? You want to sit here and knit something? It'll make you feel good. Go, fin go work on that rug. Besides, using your little rocking chair by the fire, that just looks idyllic and delightful. And we got our little picture on the mantel place. Our mantelpiece. There we go. <laughs> That's what that's called. I know what words are. It's not like I use words for a living. Well, wow, we're getting really close on the knitting skill. That one levels up really fast. Not like the rest of them. <laughs> we are still fairly... We still have a little ways to go on photography, even further on cross-stitch, and of course we just started writing. How's Leisha doing on her skills? Uh, cooking, we're almost there. Fishing, we have a ways to go, and gardening, we're about halfway. It's cool. Uh, Noah has some work to do on his charisma. He's about halfway in fitness and he's making some good progress in handiness. Oh, Lavina, why you look so sad? You coming over to say hi and tell us how sad you are? Oh, no. You're just, like, going home or something. To your not home where you don't live. This just looks so cozy and nice. It's like, I want to live here. <laughs> I want my own house, but circumstances say that I can't have one. At least not right now. Sorry, I was just being a millennial for a hot second. You know, you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Excuse me. Don't mind me, I'm just constantly tired. Again, you know what I'm talking about. Oh no, Alicia got a lump of clay. As soon as a lump of clay enters the environment, they all just start playing with it constantly. It's like, please stop. <laughs> um, ooh, we can make more things now. Holy crap. Because we're not off the grid, we can actually cook things. Oh man, and we have to try everything. That is the rule. There are a lot of things. Well, no time like the present. Oh cool, Noah finished those upgrades. That's great. And once you upgrade, oh, you don't have enough things. Okay, that's fine. Let's just come chat. Let's just, you know, have a nice little talk. All that jogging has made him so skinny. I don't remember him being that skinny when I made him. Meanwhile, Leisha's probably stayed about the same, but Elsie has gained a lot of weight. And... Bit of a trigger warning for body image issues. Um, it's something that I've struggled with a lot. Um, so it's still something I am not entirely at peace with. And the thing is, I can look at full-figured curvy women and say, oh my god, you're beautiful. But when I look at myself, I don't see that. Uh, so it's still a bit of a tough thing. So, like, 
seeing my sim gaining weight and seeing clothes not fit her, it, it makes me sad in a way that I know logically it shouldn't. Wait, wait, wait. It's Romero! Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, interrupting this heavy moment with... Okay, yeah, well... Point being, if you are struggling with body image issues, um, know that I empathize with you. It's not easy. I don't have any real answers or quick fixes, but know that you are beautiful. I don't know how much it'll mean to you coming from me, but sometimes coming from someone who doesn't know you, someone other than yourself, maybe sometimes it means more. And maybe it won't mean anything at all, but just know that you're beautiful. Okay, now, <laughs> uh, so, I did a poll on Twitter to see who is going to be the baby daddy. Whether Leisha was going to have Noah's baby, Ramiro's baby, or adopt a baby. And uh, those of you who voted uh, decided you wanted to see Leisha have Ramiro's baby, and I think that is a great idea. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to be fully welcoming Ramiro into the household. I have no relationship with this guy. How is that even possible? Like, screw this wall. Has anybody ever told you you look like Freddie Mercury? Are you just gonna go in our fridge, Ramiro? I mean, I guess you can. I... Oh, wait, I don't think give residence keys is a thing in this one. You could just ask him to join the household now, but... And I'm not as hung up about that as some people tend to be. Oh, he's doing our dishes! Oh my god. Okay, yeah, no, that's... That's asked to join household material there. <laughs> Besides, I'm pretty sure he's rich. Uh, we're not gonna take his 20,000, though. Yeah, we won't take his money, but we will benefit from his job. Yeah, so let's, uh, see some things about Ramiro. I know we, um, did I set all of these? I'm pretty sure I had set his traits. Oh, shit, he's noncommittal. Well, wait, no, that doesn't mean anything. They don't have to get married. Uh, and he is a young adult, so we can, we can fix that. We can age him up. It's just random, he's got nothing. Yeah, he's basically just been born. Oh, he has a book. He's got, he's got a romance novel. I just see barely no Elsie. What the fuck? Okay, so he's got some skills in charisma, comedy, knitting. Oh, right, because Elsie taught him how to knit. Uh, mixology, piano. Oh, no, I want to get him a piano. And he is level eight of the business career. That's interesting, considering he has none of the skills required to do the job. <laughs> All right, well, okay, sure. You go do that. Um, and I don't know why he has the successful lineage thing, but sure, go ahead and keep that. Um, <laughs> I just, I love this kid. I love this sim. I just, I just see him smiling at me. I'm just like, oh my god, Freddie Mercury smiling at me. It's just making me really happy. <laughs> it's like, do you like blue? I have no preferences whatsoever. I have essentially just been born. Oh, I want to get him a piano so bad, but we don't have room for one. We also don't have money for one, but it's just see how much space it takes up. I mean, we could get him a guitar, but that's... The more Freddie Mercury thing would be a piano. Let's just... Just put that in just to see how much we... Okay, so we probably could fit it in this corner. Move this over here. 
yeah, we could technically fit a piano there. Okay. Um, but... Yeah. So that, we'll make that a goal. Yeah, and then I just have all these other plants that I wasn't really sure what to do with, and I didn't know if I wanted to sell them or plant them, and I didn't have space to plant them, so... They're just sitting in the inventory until I can figure out what to do. Okay, everybody's doing pretty well. It is 1.30 a.m., so... Oh, they're just having a nice little chat. That's so sweet. And he autonomously does his push-ups, which is fine, because that actually is pretty realistic. Oh, it's snowing. That's so sweet. Everybody's gonna go think about that. <laughs> I almost want to just make them autonomously go to bed just to see who they go to bed with. <laughs> okay, well, see, I'm gonna have to adjust this situation here. Because the thing is, Ramiro won't sleep next to Elsie because they don't know each other well enough. So I think Leisha... Uh, Leisha can go sleep next to Elsie. <laughs> Ramiro, you know uh, Noah, right? Oh yeah, you're fucking best friends with Noah. You go, you can go sleep next to Noah. Wait, oh. Does Leisha not like Elsie well enough? Ugh, okay. Fine, fine. We'll put you in your heteronormative pairings. Even though that's not the point of the challenge. Oh, Ramiro was well, nice, and happy. Wait, what? What the hell? What is going on? I don't... I don't understand anything anymore. Or did I tell you to... Did I click on the wrong spot? Okay, there we go. I just clicked on the wrong spot. I'm like, will you not sleep with your husband? What did I do? Uh, I don't think Ramiro knows Leisha well enough to sleep next to her yet. But that will change. Oh, and it sounds like Honey's home, so that is my cue to uh, stop uh, recording for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we'll see what happens next time in this wild whirlwind of shenanigans. <laughs> uh Thanks for watching. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, Baze. Love you.